Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, scenario. Pascal moves in a straight line, so that's at time t seconds, its velocity is given by those two different scenarios. So that's what's happening to it between 0 and 5 seconds, and that's how it changes when t is greater than 5. So find the acceleration of p when t equals 4. Now, first of all, that is velocity, and because it's asking me when t equals 4, I'm going to use this equation here. Because this equation is true for 0 and this, this equation is true for all values of t between 0 and 5. Okay? So therefore, 7t minus t squared, we're going to use that equation because we want to put in t equals 4, which the equation that is true for 0 and 5, between t and 0 and 5. So acceleration is dv dt, which is t to the power down, t 1 of the power, so you get 7 minus 2t. So the acceleration when t is 4 is going to be 7 minus 2 times 4, a equals 7 minus 8. So the acceleration is minus 1 meters per second per second. Now, that is a deceleration, but we say acceleration is negative. That's fine. Now, for this next scenario, it goes find the total distance traveled by P in the first 10 seconds. I suggest that for this one, you draw, you sketch a little graph. So if you sketch a little graph here, what you get is from here to 5, and then the next one, you want it up to 10, so I'm going to put 10 here. Now for the first 5, if we look at that formula, what happens is, it's, it's well, when you look at that, that's a quadratic, negative quadratic, so the velocity is climbing up, up to this scenario. Okay, so you get that. Then, as soon as it hits 5, okay it becomes 10 minus 2t so it comes from there um, after 5 it becomes uh, 10 minus 2t so that from there when it's t equals 10 that will be along here that will be minus 10 the velocity so i'm going to put v for velocity here so that's going to be velocity. So it's going to go from that scenario all the way down. So literally, you've got to get a straight line cutting all the way down. Okay? I'll say that again. So you got from that scenario, and then you go from there all the way down to minus 10. Now, at this point, when t equals 5, you need to basically, when it says the total area, you do you could do this in a couple of different ways you could first of all find out where is when t equals 5 here when you put it in there you'll get um, t times 5 minus uh, 5 squared so you'll get 35 minus 25 equals 10 so at that point the velocity was 10 there okay and then at 10 seconds the velocity dropped to minus 10 okay so 10 put sub 10 in this one you got 2 times 10 which is 20 10 minus 20 is 10. so we need to find all this area where it's traveled now that's why it says distance so you're just going to be that little bit careful okay and also it's best if we could find out where that point hits there. Could do this two scenarios, but I'm going to cut it up in two ones. Now, first of all, the first one, I want you to use your calculator. So, I want you to use your integration button between 5 and 0 and integrate uh, 7t minus t squared um, respect to t. So, if you put that in your calculator, I'll wait for a second while you do that, and then I'll run through this. I need to find where this point is crossing through. Okay. So, I need to find out when this that equal to zero. Uh,
I'm just looking at that when t equals 5 that will be 0 um, that's to 10 and t equals 5 that will be 0 and then when t equals 10 that will be trying to do Sorry, you do get to that situation. Okay, when you go from there to there, do you get um, any suggestions? Is it 43.83? 45.83? 45. Okay, good. So that's the, the meters, how much you have traveled from there to there. Now, I did draw the graph earlier, I had to rethink about it and actually what happens is if you go when t equals 5, sub it in there, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 take away 10 is 0 so from that point straight away it cuts down to 0 and it goes, it stops and then it starts coming back on yourself so the velocity goes minus 10 which means it's coming back so that's the displacement is different, so that's why you've got to negate this in a second. So in order to find the area of this triangle, you do, well it's a triangle, so it's going to be 5 times, this is 5, this is, the height is 10, shared by 2, and you get 25. Now don't forget, that be a negative 25, but because we're talking about distance, you negate that. So to get the total distance, It's going to be 45.83, add to 25, and you get uh, 60.70.83 meters, or you can just put that to 70.8 meters. 70.8 meters is the total distance P travels in the first 10 seconds.